A health alert tonight about how to treat jet lag. Scientists are now looking at eye drops to ease symptoms. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, joins us now with a closer look, Doc. I'm especially interested, you know, so jet lag is often an annoying side effect. I know of traveling to different time zones or working night shifts. Your body wants to stay on its original sleep set schedule and can be slow to adjust, but scientists may have discovered a way to treat jet lag. A new group of cells located in our eyes may have been linked to the body's response to light changes. Researchers at the University of Edinburgh believe that there's a potential for developing eye drops to get rid of jet lag. All right, so how exactly would this work then? Yeah, so David, what happens is the retina is a tissue that's lining the back of our eyes and it's sensitive to light. It communicates information to the part of our brain which coordinates our circadian rhythm, right? And our internal body clock. Researchers were able to interfere with the signaling with a study with lab rats. So, Doc, you have some prescriptions for us, for sure. Absolutely. The study is interesting for those like me who head to different time zones and want to lessen their jet lag here, my prescriptions. Number one, before traveling, try to be well rested. Starting out sleep deprived can worsen jet lag. Also, once you're on the plane, set your watch the new time and try not to sleep until it's nighttime in the destination that you're heading to. Take some practice, but you can do it. Drink plenty of water before, during, and after the flight. Dehydration worsens jet lag symptoms. And finally, melatonin or, or sleeping pills may help, but they may not lessen your jet lag symptoms. So talk to your doctor first, find out what's right for you. And then the uh, health risks, if you will, of sleep disruption. And that's a key, Dave. So short-term jet lag can lead to indigestion, disrupted bowel function, daytime sleepiness, difficulty sleeping at night, and reduced physical and mental performance. Long-term sleep, sleep disruption rather can cause several health problems, including gastrointestinal, cardiovascular disease, depression, and increased risk for cancer. The way I tell my patients is that sleep is brain food. If you don't yeah. sleep, you don't give the brain an immune system and, and the rest of the body to be able to re regroup and regenerate. All right, thank you so much, sleep Dr. Well. Andy. Sleep well tonight. I'll try. <laughs> And if you have a question or a health concern for the good doctor, you can email him at drnandy at wxyz.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter and we'll get it right to him.